Hi, this is Glenda and in last week's video, I told you that I will show you this week what I did with the leftover soap from that project, which was the Grand Prismatic Soap. This week is going to be about a soap inspired in the library book and I used the leftover from that soap. So I'm gonna jump straight into the porn and also telling you the story that inspired it. The book is written by Susan Orlean and it's called the library book. This is her reading a chapter of it to an audience and later giving like an interview. The main subject of the book is the Los Angeles Library Fire of 1986. And here's a clip of her talking about the facts. To give you a few statistics, what I learned was, as I said, largest library fire in the history of the U.S. Until very recently, it was the largest structure fire in the history of Los Angeles. It burned for seven and a half hours. The temperature rose over 2,500 degrees. And when it was done, 400,000 books were completely destroyed. 700,000 were damaged. However, the book also covers other stories regarding the history of libraries or of the Los Angeles Library and also uh, investigation on the life of the person who is suspected of being responsible for the fire and several interesting anecdotes about books and about fires. So here what I'm trying to do first is do the black layer of what will be the fire soap and this is just some leftover soap from a different uh, project and since I had a lot left over I color it black and then I pour it into this mold. Once it had set up some I use a scraper that I had 3D printed to create the shape of the flames. After this, I cover it with plastic and I let it rest till the next day when I was going to make the other soap. The following day, I added the colors of the fire, first the red, then the orange, then some more of the red, so that it would look like the color of the flames. Next, I added some yellow and some white. I made sure to clean the walls of the mold in between layers. I am using an accelerating fragrance so that this soap can be scraped faster. However, I realize here that because of the shape of my scraper that it's more pointy in the center, I will have to remove a lot of soap butter for the flame to be able to be seen. So instead, I decided to use other pointy tools that I had in hand to try to recreate the shape of a pointy flame. The next colors that I'm going to add may surprise you a little bit because it's not they're not usually seen on a fire soap or in fire in general. And it's going to be blue and also transparent soap. Something they talked about in the book was about the stoichiometric combustion which is pretty much something like the perfect fire. It's very hard to achieve outside of a lab and it is the process where fuel is burned completely. It's also known as the perfect combustion. And in the library fire this happened because all the elements for the perfect fire were there. A highly combustible material like the books and this was in an enclosed building made of concrete and metal which acted like an oven. I quote the following from the book which was part of her interview with Ron Hamill, a captain at the time of the Los Angeles Fire Department. Usually a fire is red and orange and yellow and black. The fire in the library was colorless. You could look right through it as if it were a sheet of glass. Where the flame had any color, it was pale blue. It was so hot that it appeared icy. Hamel said he felt like he was standing inside a blacksmith's forge. We thought we were looking at the bowels of hell, he said. 
On this layer as well, I had to manually create the indentations of where the pointy flames would be because the scraper was not going to reach um, that deep anywhere on the sides, only in the center, so before adding the clear melt and pour. A couple of days later, it was time to remove it from the mold. Okay, it's been a couple hours since I removed it from the mold. I'm gonna cut it. The top looks cool. It's very transparent. Because it has melt and port, I'm going to put it on its side and I'm going to go slowly. Usually if I put it like this, the cutter may have issues, cutting a soap is too hard. But if I put it like this, it's not so bad. So my cutter is struggling a little bit, so I'm going slow. Okay, wait. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to... Yeah, this is the, like the hottest fire. And then these are the flames. But... If you look at it like this... This looks like a, a tooth. You know, when you see pictures of teeth, that's kind of funny. The wire that I have on this wire cutter is thicker than the one it came with. So I think that's actually helping it not break as I'm cutting through this. Otherwise it may... I think a thinner wire may break. But I'm, and I'm also going very slowly. Overall, I'm happy with how they turned out. I'm going to leave you with some pictures of the bars. And I'm going to put links in the description box below about the library fire and also about the book. Perhaps you may want to check it out. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye!